Hello, and, and welcome, welcome. <laughs> to the Hither Report. <laughs> no. To, uh, ooh, a game I sort of bought on complete whimsy, because I was just like, I was like, oh yeah, I watched the anime. Mm. Good I stuff. haven't watched it. <laughs> Good so stuff. I'm going in blind and yeah. half caught. So, so you're going in completely meantime. blind, I'm going in with only knowing, um, so do you have, require decent So, solutions. do you have any idea what we're going in? Did you watch anything to do with Steins No. Well, okay. As soon as you brought it up, I said, you know what? No, I'm just going to ignore everything about this. Oh, this is going to be real spice. Blind. This is going to be annoying for me because I dislike the translation with a passion, especially the starting <laughs> monologue, which is this here, uh, because it doesn't make sense in translation. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Nutty. <laughs> so, um... In, in the English dub, it makes a lot more sense, and it's way Probably better. Probably because they got an official translation. No, it's because the guy that voices the main character is also like the writer, and he went in and he went, Fuck this, <laughs> let's just rewrite loads of stuff. Fuck this so the characters are slightly out. different, mm. uh, which annoy, which is good for the dub, and always going to annoy me with this. Uh, there isn't going to be random references, like there's a bunch of Doctor Who and Back to the Future <laughs> references in the dub, and now we're not going to get that, I'm going to no! be really sad. That's good. Um, <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter if we skip the... I can, I can, from memory, do the English <laughs> one. Yeah, it's not that I don't like the voices, it's that, that because I've listened to them in a certain way, they sound really fucking weird to me. And also the Japanese. All over the, all over the internet, they're like, the Japanese voice actor for the main character is amazing. I'm going, okay, let's go in and... Because they say, oh, his laugh is amazing. His first laugh, shit. And I'm just like, I need cleansing with the dub. <laughs> and the dub one is a hundred times better. Also, I also, I have a little question for you. Yes. For the main character of um, Steins Gate, who do you think he also voices in My Hero Academia? <laughs> He voices a character. Deku? You guess who it is. It's not Deku. Bakugo? No. Uh, tape arms. No. I. Uh, is he important? He's. He's. Yeah. Is he it, perverted? No. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Keep guessing. Uh, Birdface. Gotta go fast. Really? He voices Ida, and I was looking at his page, going, "Okay, who else does he voice?" Some uh, some guy from Drifters, okay. Drifters is good. Uh, some guy from uh, Tenure of the Evil, all right. Ida, <laughs> Nani. The way they said nothing alike. Slide box. So uh, from memory, I'll do the English one. Okay, so it's uh, consider. Can the universe justifiably be called infinite? Doubtful. It may have not have a discernible end, but it had a beginning, and its component parts certainly have a cosmological shelf life. Splitting hairs or not, if history tells us anything, it's that. Scientists often make very poor poets. We're all just a ship of fools chasing phantoms, heedless of what actually underwrites natural law. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> uh, is this... Now, I don't know who the... Okay, is this okay, my uh, Yuri or is this Okabe that's talking? I don't know. Do you want to do rock, paper, scissors to see who talks first? Uh, what we need to actually divide it up properly because the, the four main cast... Which is two boys, two girls. Very good. You can be the girls. <laughs> no, I think we're going to split them. I know. So, uh, Okabe is our main character we're playing as. Uh, oh, this is probably someone who's talking to Okabe. And then we have Mayuri, which is probably this line. So, check. Uh, oh, it is Mayuri. Because this in, um, in the dub, she tries to get his attention. Yeah. So, except he's not... Okay, anyway. You so, can be Okabe because you have more... More knowledge of this character, so you can uh, weigh in at any okay, point. Okay, so hang on. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do the weirdest voice, and I'm gonna forget how to oh, do them. You're going to the uh, so the other the other male character is Daru, and in the sub it said that he's a massive pervert. I can do that. And in in the dub, he's completely different. In, in the dub, he's a sarcastic ass after everyone. <laughs> I can do both. <laughs> it's great. Um. Even after so, make the, the perversion sound now, sarcastic as an insult. Who wants? So, I oh. don't know. I feel like if you're doing diary, you're also going to have to do Marcus A, because otherwise there's going to be a massive point in the middle where you're going to be talk, uh, where I'm going to be talking to myself. Otherwise, <laughs> so it's going to be schizophrenic Ben. So it's basically. It's going to do that anyway for the first bit, because <laughs> <laughs> the first bit, 
Do you want me to do this for now, then switch no, over? No, no, no. Okay, so, um... Oh, God, how do I... My Yuri, okay, how do I, how do, I do her voice? Don't try to imitate her voice. Create yeah, your the own. The reason why I like it, because it sort of emphasizes her personality. It's hey! so, her um, voice is very sing-songy. Hey, listen! Hey! Uh, no, it's not hey, that, like that. Listen. It's, um... No one gets the reference. If you do, do get the reference... Why do you, you mumbling about... Fucking, I don't know. There's no sound against the... My right. Oh fuck! It's him talking to himself about the organization. I'm I'm back here in the summer su sun, the summer sun, sweating slowly, s sweat sweat slowly sliding down my chin, dropping into the asphalt. Okay, so we're getting descriptions. Oh no, here we go. There's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kareen, Earth to oh, Kareen. A girl is standing in front of me. Shocker. So, because I'm just going to do the, narr the narration. Find out next In my time. normal voice, because fucking hell. She calls my name with an inquisitive hill of her head. About to infiltrate. Uh, I know this is a line. Okay, we'll have speech marks and saying stuff. Hot, I hope. There is no hint of tension on <laughs> child like features. I cover my phone's mouthpiece and turn to the. Girl with an index finger to my lips. You talking to someone? I nod and pull out my phone back to my ear. Still no sound from the other side. My contact is wise to the internet side that the whole area could be bugged. Talk no, I was just talking to someone. Everything's fine. I'm about to infiltrate the assembly hall. Oh, I didn't say... Mm. Still no reply. Looks like they'll just want my report. It's too dangerous to, to waste time talking here anyway. What? The, the organization's on the move? I hope my wires to match my shocked tone. The girl turns towards me, in surprise. Fucking hell, and like, <laughs> I sigh, shaking my head as I Wait, rub my temples. Something. I see the, the choice of Steins get L. Sai Gongru. I speak the parting words, then pocket my cell phone. Steins Gate. Some know it as fate. To others, it is the will of God. You can count on the one hand that people in this world are aware of its true nature. In any case, we should begin the, begin the infiltration. Advance towards Ready, Ready Car, which Ready is across car. the street from the, from the train station. So this... Ah, here we go. Of course, this is the enemy territory. I can't just stride through the front door like an average person. I bypass the elevators and escalators and head to the 8th floor by the stairwell. Hmm! <laughs> But I only make it to the seventh floor before I have to stop and rest. What is that on the foot? Oh! Huh? Oh. Shem Mayuri immediately resumes our conversation. She follows me all the way here and she isn't even short of breath. Damn children. Ah, uh, the. <laughs> I want you to guess their ages. What, she's older than him? Uh, she's younger than him, not by much. So he's in his 20s, she'll be teens. Both in their teens. 15, 16? Uh, 17, 19, I think, roughly. Uh, she, I think she might be, she could also be slightly younger than that. It's because I don't really, I can't really remember if that's in the Gate Zero and Gate Series. Who, who would have thought an eight story building would be so tall? <laughs> I turned to my Yuri while wiping the sweat off my brow. If, oh, I have, if I had told you, I had to kill you. Okay, I need to remember to look at the character names. Oh, wow. Thanks, old Kareen. Mayuri smiles happily and doesn't pray any further. As always, she is quick to understand my position. That's what she said. Shut up. <laughs> Never. No one shall since we were both little. Mayuri is 16, two years younger than me. She is more like a little sister than a typical childhood friend. I've been looking out for her as long as I can remember. I used to hope that uh, I used to hope that Mayuri would become the key to Steins Gate, but now I've reconsidered. <laughs> I don't want that terrible fate for her. 
she should live a normal life. Oh, it's just... Bryce, <laughs> you, you have too much power. <laughs> Let me read. No. Oh god, this is. We continue to the eighth floor and enter the assembly hall. In front of us stands a cheap-looking stage and a podium. A sign reading: no "Dr. Nakabachi's Time Machine Press Conference." Ocarine, Ocarine. Mayuri insists on calling me Ocarine. That is neither my real name nor my code name. It's just one of those annoying nicknames people use. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, don't call me Ocarine? Huh? But I've always called you that. What that, is those mouth That was then. I have since become Hoeen Kiyoma, the insane mad scientist, haunted by the secret organization the world over. <laughs> but that's too hard to remember. In any case, Hoeen Kiyoma is, is my true name. Oh, that's it. that's alias, by the way. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> okay. And besides, it doesn't even sound like re Okabe Reintero. You're weird. <laughs> Cease your foolish laugh. You don't even say that out loud. Okabe Reintero may be my real name, but I have rejected it. Pretty stupid. <laughs> 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 and so I also had derived Okabe. <laughs> Cut it. You're. Fr Fuck are you? I know I know how to pronounce it. Fuck off you virgin kun. I've heard it in both translations in the sub and the dub. It's Ocarine. So Ocarine, can I ask you something? <laughs> One ear and out the other. <laughs> <laughs> She's been calling that for five years now. So maybe it's time to give up. <laughs> what 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 are we doing here? <laughs> Wait. You followed me here without knowing why? Yep. She nods. Uh, I know without dropping a smile. I know of another uh, character who only says, Yep! <laughs> <laughs> We're here for Doctor We're here from Dr. Nakabashi's press conference. We're standing in the assembly hall on the eighth floor of the radio building. It is here that the conference will be held. It's called the Radio Building the Anime, and that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Dr. Nakabashi is an inventor. He appeared on the TV from TV to time to time, and has a few patents pa patents under his belt. But mostly, he is treated as a curiosity. He's an inventor. I thought it was in the anime. He's explained as an actual scientist. Probably a part of a physicist. <clears throat> At least that's how I would think of it. Press conference. But where are the reporters? <laughs> My ear is right. I've scanned the entire hall, but there's no one who looks like a a reputable reporter or cameraman. Woo! <laughs> there are only about ten of us standing in the hall, including me. I see no one! <laughs> I feel <laughs> lies! <laughs> lies! Where are the people? <laughs> Considering Nakabachi's moderate media presence and the fact that he claims to have invented a time machine, I would have expected more. Maybe he's already had the press conference. <laughs> Fuck, we missed it! <laughs> that or time travel. Could this be a, the organization work its influence? I twist my lips in a sneer. Yes. I thought the Nakabashi was like me, a scientist fighting to overthrow the organization. But this press conference suggests other motives at work. Ironian won't miss this chance. <laughs> I prefer not to get wrapped up in this mess. Nevertheless, I'm interested in what he has to say. That's why I'm here, blowing an afternoon on my precious summer holiday. My eerie p ponders my utterance for a while before finally turning her head. Yep. You rap. You rap something. It's. It's is his birthday too. He. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is it his birthday too? <laughs> and that's time. Huh. My Yuri is is known to not only make bad jokes but to laugh at them too. I need to stop this. You have summoned me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read properly. I'm dumb. She has been special. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Special. Got him, boys. Keep your guard up, My Yuri. I suspect this won't be a normal conference. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't even finish my sentence. I noticed. Are we under attack? Are they trying to? Oh, okay. This is this. Okay. Um, I don't know why I sound play there. It did. There was a little wee. 
That's not sp- Oh, oh, oh. oh that's because it's a different sound in the anime. In the anime, it's a <gasps> BOOM! <laughs> so it's a bit more- Ah! No shite. <laughs> There it is. There it is. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Dust falls from the ceiling as the floor that shakes. That sounds like the Pokemon music, like Pokemon Battle music. <laughs> <laughs> Red to fight some Pokemon on the roof. I mean, have you been to where to where Rayquaza is hidden in Pokemon Emerald? No, I've only played Red. Oh no, it was Fire Red, not Red. I know, I saw your cherries out. It's red with colour. <laughs> Ooh, it's the premium experience. Uh, it's coming from above, but we're on the top floor. All that above us is the roof. An earthquake? It's a magnitude too. What does it? What does that mean again? <laughs> what does magnitude mean again? <laughs> no time to deal with my Mayuri's uh, confusion. Something's not right about this. It's better call her. I bought out of the conference hall and ran up the stairs to the roof, ignoring the no trespassing sign in the way. Oh, the door is open. Oh, the door is open. Upon closer inspection, I realize the lock has been broken. I open the door and see a, bell of, a bellowing cloud of black smoke. I hate the way you read. There's some kind of phosphorescent dust sparkling in the air. You can read that word. <laughs> <laughs> but everything else. Because I have this weird like reading habit where I sort of skip over words sometimes. I noticed. An explosion. I can't believe it. Was there really an explosion? My heart is racing. Damn, I don't know what to do. Should I run away? But why an explosion? Terrorists? No, that can't. That, that doesn't fit. I mean, how does you? How do you explain that? What? The? A strange machine is sitting in the middle of the roof. It's huge, maybe three meters tall, and looks like some kind of a satellite. Just a satellite would have done. <laughs> a satellite would have done a lot more than a bang. <laughs> Did this thing cause the shaking just now? I wonder, it's kind of sparkling. Who put it here? I'm gonna see her. Was it the doctor? Was it Dr. Nakabashi? Is this part of his presentation? Impossible. Even if that were the case, how the hell would we get this thing up here? My head's burning with questions. Whew, I got a fucking headache. Bursting, sorry. Whew, it's still the same thing. As I search for the courage to approach the machine, a, th a throng of reporters and building stuff burst onto the rooftop. There are the reporters. They look just as confused as I am. Please bet. Oh. You gonna do? A, why don't you do random citizen number one? Please stay back, you mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old crow. Be gone, virgins. <laughs> oh, there's the crone of the bug. We're playing a lot of Witcher lately. I don't know as then a wham appear, who I assume is the staff member, appears to be waving us back. The press. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. It'd be the you keep going. Is she trying to hide something? Well, your old crone voice doesn't work. Why? We'll get to that later. Her response is unusually quick. Her response was unusually quick, almost like she was trying to keep me away from that device. Knows for a conspiracy, and this stinks of a cover up. What are they hiding? What was that explosion? Should I just do my, <laughs> so my stupid, like, um, David Allender voice for, Go for, <laughs> for hoeing Kiyoma and do normal Ocarina as my normal voice? Alright. I want to know, but I shouldn't risk getting any closer. I turn, turn and leave. And not because I'm scared or anything like that. <laughs> Staff members are le leading all of us back to the 8th floor. Mayuri is nowhere to be seen. She's not even in the hall either. I found her on the 7th floor. Ah, oh, yes! Several capture trainers here lined up in the next plate reading Birthplace of the Japanese PC. 
she's gazing upon them with a wistful look. Yes. I'm very excited then, take out my phone. It's me. It's me! I've got a, just an old man voice. I've got a bad feeling about this! Something's happening! And I have no idea where it is! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry. I'll do anything to jeopardize the mission. L. Psy. Kong. This, this does not sound... <laughs> every fiber of being saying this is wrong. After I speak the words, I hang up. I'm able to wipe the sweat from my whole head. Whoo! <laughs> Splat. <laughs> 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 my sweat is cold. Half of me hopes something will happen. The other half, fear. I put away my phone and look back at my earrings. She's still <laughs> staring at the capsule of those cats. The epic music! In what I know the scene is actually is, it's, it's not all either necessary or or was it relevant? Yeah. Would you like chocolate? Or I have. I have. <laughs> what you're getting bored? Oh yeah. By the way, never had one of these before, so I don't know what they taste like. It's a shit picnic. <laughs> a big buttery picnic. <laughs> it's a salty picnic. I can't decide if she's level-headed, or just an airhead. What are you doing? Hmm... Hmm? Well, I really want an Oompa. What? I thought it was the two O's. Just as I thought. My Yuri points to a capsule machine. The, fr the sign on the front said, Rhinet. Haruku 3D Character Doll Series. Ryan Net Karaku is a Karu is a popular anime series with its own card game spin-off. Ryan Net Access Battlers. They even hold international tournaments. It's in the anime. Have no idea what they're doing because <laughs> they're like they're like playing this game. I'm just like, the fuck are they doing? They're, they don't never explain the rules of the entire <laughs> anime. And I'm there's like a scene. That where two of the characters are playing off, and I'm just like, Am I supposed to? Because Okabe has a strategy for it. He hide because what you're supposed to do is like, it's like you turn a card over and you're trying to find the, your opponent's like, um, like power supply while not try not to flip over viruses or something like that. From what I can tell, so it's like plaguing across Yu Gi Oh! Except I have no idea how it actually is a game and not just randomly <laughs> pick up a card and fold it over. You play those uh, um, matching games with cards? It's yeah, like but. Upia is the series' mascot character. It resembles um, a flatic egg Elliptical. with limb sticking out, like some kind of deformed dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, it looks more like a panda to me. Is that what they call an ugly cute character? <laughs> nice. High school girls find these creatures at all for some reason. Last year, an ugly frog character was a rage. It's no escape me though. Is it Pepe? <laughs> is this how old this is? <laughs> <laughs> Pepe Le Pew? That goes. Then go for it. I can't guarantee you get a Nupa though. She gets one because plot convenience, right? My own. It's even worse than that. It's the biggest plot convenience. She gets all of them. But my Yushi... Oh, this is what I don't understand about the dub. She referred to herself in third person. which are, No, the sub, sorry. In the dub, she just goes, Aww, I, c I really want these, but I'm broke. <laughs> which makes more sense. Mm. <laughs> my Yushi is what Mayuri calls herself sometimes. And according to her, it's supposed to have a star at the end. <laughs> Is that her stripper name? <laughs> <laughs> but who really cares? This guy sounds like a So, awesome. can I borrow a hundred yen, please? Please. She holds out her hand. Looks like she wants to play. <laughs> this is what she was playing from the very beginning. Oh, I wanted the English line, because the English line is so much better. I wish she didn't say gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. The only thing is... Don't you think? Don't you think it'd be that easy, my Yuri? You don't get n no money from me. Instead, I'll show you just how harsh the re real real life is. Real life is. 
the English line, he says, Too bad, greedy Gus. Life lessons. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just goes, uh, but then, uh, reality prints will often, oh, disabuse us. Be disabuse? Abuse? I think that's the right word he uses. Alrighty. Of our whims, that's what he says here. I put 100 yen coin into the machine slot and spin the lever. Aha! Uh -huh. Case in point, this one's a dud. Open the capsule. Mario leans in. It's an Oopa! It's a medal! A medal Oopa! <laughs> he gets a rare one instantly. <laughs> is, is that rare? Super rare! While I examine the metal Oopa, a boy who was watching us try to suck on the same Ryanet machine. <laughs> uh, normal. A normal one. Oh, a normal green out. one. Oh, normal one. I'm prepubescent. He looks at my metal Oopa in resentment. <laughs> he looks at it in resentment. More like, I think more envy would probably be more. No, no, no. He resents you for having the luck that he doesn't. I guess so. So he's jealous. I turn to see my Yuri's sparkling eyes also fixed on the Oopa. Hey, high school girl, you're acting like a little kid. <laughs> there you go, here, fucking Oopa. I give the creature of metal to you, my Yuri. Honestly, I don't want it. <laughs> really? Are you sure, Ocarine? The name's Hoin Kiyoma. Yeah. Thank you, Ocarine. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be good. F you. Is she doing this on purpose? Thank you all for coming to Dr. Nyokabachi's Time what? Machine Press Conference. I hear the announcements. Sounds like they're starting. Yippee ki yay! Um, why am I? Why are we eating while we're trying to do voices? I don't I know head, why you're so. I head, head to the. I head to the stairs. But my, but my Yuri doesn't follow. Let's go, my Yuri. Hmm. Just a sec. I gotta write my name on it. She's preoccupied with the metal Oopa running her name on it. Man. Hey, now there are people. Without further ado, I present to I, I am pleased to introduce the inventor, Dr. Mark Nakabachi. Please welcome him with a round of applause. He's sort of like Hello. an older dude. No, he needs to be a bit more in kind of a bit more on the verge Hello. of insanity. I'm the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit older than that. Dr. Mark enters to a, screaming to kids. sparse applause. <laughs> Oof. He walks up to the podium. He's already wearing a frown. For some reason, I can feel his irritation from here. Scott. Look at him. Look at this man. I am Dr. Nobukobachi. Thank you all for coming. Broom with co That was a little confidence you had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nobukobachi takes the microphone <laughs> to speak. Dumbass. His voice breaming, beaming with, breaming with confidence? Brimming. I'm a fucking idiot and can't read. Now, now then, ladies and... Oh, no, it's yours. me! Your line. I'm, now I'm used then. to talking all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin my theory of time travel. The greatest scientific breakthrough of this century. Did he really build a time machine? Mayuri appears after writing her name on the metal Oopa. She did, she's a bit late in more ways than one. What did she think a time machine presentation would be about? <laughs> I'd take another look around the room. There's about 20 people now, including us, but there's still not media presence to sp <coughs> speak of. No. Nah. So this is the extent of Dr. Nakabachi's fame. No one believes that he invented a time machine. I was interested in what he had to say, but say true. But my expectations were no higher than the rest of the out. Onlookers, sorry, not outlookers. <laughs> They're on their emails. <laughs> and a good thing they weren't. As he proceeds to explain his time machine design, my curiosity quickly turns to disappointment, then anger. Doctor! <laughs> <laughs> my raw silence is Nakabachi and draws the eye of everyone. Do you take us for fools? Who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? Someone who knows knows you for a fraud, that's who! You stole your theory from John Teeter, and you call yourself an inventor. Someone throw this man out! You're the one who should be thrown out, Doctor. Have you no shame? You have no right calling yourself an inventor. Shut your mouth, you little pest. 
Just then, someone grabs my arm from behind. Quite convenient, it's an official here to throw me out. Turn, I turn around to gla glare him down. Uh, unhand me, you... Huh? She's a girl about my age. Her intent says she's a challenge me. I step it forward, is it, was it? Her face looks somehow familiar. Where have I seen her before? Uh, we haven't met, but I know her face. It's Marcus A. Kirisu. <laughs> a few days ago, my friend Dara showed me a magazine titled Girl Genius Gives Lecture in Akihabara. Akihabara. The article was about a 17 year old girl who had just graduated from American University. Her thesis was even presented in a major civic scientific journal. What? Oh, yes! The girl genius Makase Kurosu. I recognize the stubborn looking girl from her photograph. <laughs> She's even wearing the same scowl. Now that's just lazy writing. <laughs> Oi! Written. She takes a quick look around the room, then turns back to me with a stern expression. Yes. Could you come with me for a moment? Oh, yeah, it's your line, isn't it? It's with the attitude. She's obviously no staff, and there's no way that, doc uh, that Marcus A would be working with someone like the Dr. Nakabachi. Which means, no! You're with the organization! <laughs> huh? If their tendrils have gone this far, then I've made a grave mistake! <laughs> Stop fooling around and come with me. My light bars have already attracted too much attention. Nakabachi in particular looks like he wants me to, <laughs> to rip my head off. It must be mortifying to be exposed as a fraud by a young man like myself. <laughs> anyway, I must draw not draw any more attention to myself. If the organic get, gets wind of my presence here, it could endanger Mayuri. I let, I let Makase Kirisu lead me out of the assembly hall. What are you talking about? <laughs> she glares at me quite fiercely at that. I tried to thought she might be. There's no innocence in her eyes. Ah! A beautiful agent, unmatched in, cur in cruelty. Might <laughs> be for the danger. Mm. Yes, the danger. <laughs> Looks like cash really gets my blood pumping. <laughs> I just need to ask you something. What makes you think I'll answer? I know how the organization operates. What's with this organization stuff? Instead of answering, I take out my phone and put it to my ear. It's me. I'm a cop of the organization agent. Yes, Maki Security. She's a dangerous one. No, it's fine. I'll find a way to. Sonny snatches the phone. <laughs> Snatch! <laughs> I've watched the um, the first episode of the anime six times. <laughs> you read hard. <laughs> and read that's four times <laughs> in the last week. Read. What skill? I don't have a time to react. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You <laughs> catch on to the ploy. <laughs> Her eyes pierce deeply into my soul. I quickly look a bit away. She's good. Is she trying to attack my sense of identity in order to cause a mental break? Recall, this isn't this isn't enough to sway me. Consider there's no options here. I could probably show you the first episode right after we finish this. Alrighty, I'm down. Your tick <laughs> don't work on me, but I'll tell you anyway. That's an ordinary phone. It's designed to deactivate the moment it leaves my hand. Such measures are necessary to maintain security. I know things that are getting killed. I quickly retrieve my phone and wipe the cold sweat off my forehead. <sighs> I get a massive puddle. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is there that a swimming pool next to you? <laughs> <laughs> Every time he wipes his hands, just copious amounts of sweat. Bad. Ordinary methods don't work on Marcus Akirisu, the genius girl. On the contrary, she's the one psyching me out. Damn, looks like I have to make a tactical retreat. Suddenly, Step. <laughs> suddenly oh shit, <laughs> steps up to me with a serious expression. 
She stares right at me. Her huge eyes playing with strength and will of her six. I thought it was going to say something very different. <laughs> you watch way too much. Such fun. I can't look away. Could someone with pure eyes really be an organization agent? What were you trying to tell me earlier? Earlier? What are you talking about? About 15 minutes ago, before the conference started. Nonsense. This is the first time we've met. I was with Mayuri and the Upa toys 15 minutes ago. Uh, uh, that was your line. You were trying to tell me something. You looked really upset. It's a trap. It doesn't seem to be one of the organization's dirty tricks. It seems like one of the organizations. But would this girl do something that underhanded? You looked like you were going to start crying any second. Why? Why? Have we met before? Why, 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 why? I keep... I don't... She seems sincere. That makes me even more suspicious. Usually in most visual novels, the name's there. That's what's tripping me out here. Yeah. That's right. Don't let her beauty fool you. Shovel heads. <laughs> She's a cold, calculated, secret True! Shovel heads! <laughs> <laughs> if I show the slightest vulnerability, I'm done for. The art style of this does look really nice. Though. It does. How do you know my name? My knowledge has no limits! <laughs> I'm a mad scientist after all. <laughs> Genius girl. Next week she'll be... Uh oh, did I actually start recording? Yes I did. Did I? The button's pressed. No, as in... Shit, we're not. I just realised. Fuck. <laughs>